Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to replace a battery in a Dell Latitude E5470 so that if it's bulging, you can replace it so it's not bulging anymore. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to take your Dell laptop and of course you want to have it turned off, you want to have it unplugged from the power, and then you want to go ahead and you want to flip it over to the bottom. Now, we're going to have some screws that we need to take out. There's three on the top, one, two, three. There's one right here in the middle. There's two on the sides, and then there's two on the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my toolkit. Now I've, I know I've shown you this before, but it's a iFixit toolkit. It works great. You can buy that on their website. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. And I'm going to go ahead and loosen all those screws. Now the reason I'm going to loosen it and not take them out is because on this particular model, the screws will not come out of the bottom case, which is great. That way you won't lose them. So let's go ahead and take those loose so we can pull the bottom off. Great. Now I have the bottom loose and all the screws have been loosened so I can go ahead and just pull up on the bottom case just a little bit and it will come right off. And we're going to go ahead and set that to the side. Now if you can see this battery is the one that's causing the problem. It's bulging very very badly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this out. So the way that we're going to do that this one only has one screw that's holding it in place. So I'm going to go ahead and take that loose. Now yours may actually have one more because it looks like this one was bulging so bad it may have caused one of the screws to come loose. But you take that one screw out which is right here below the fan. And then the only other thing you have to do is you have to disconnect this power adapter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully pull up ever so slightly on this connector Ta -da. there it goes we got it loose so now I'm gonna go ahead and open the brand new one which I've already bought the exact same one it looks just like this it says Dell 47 watt standard I've got it brand new in the packaging right here and if you'll notice they look a hundred percent identical except uh, obviously this one is bulging and this one was brand new so let's go ahead and we're gonna put this one in and I'm gonna get that connected really quick the only thing that I have to do is I need to reuse the power cable that's on the old battery so we're gonna pull it off of the bottom and we're gonna disconnect it from right here which is connected to the battery and I'm going to flip this one over and I'm going to connect it right here on this connector. Put, make sure you push it in really well. And then you want to put the cable through all the little areas so you can hide the cable right there in the battery itself. Now that we've got the cable where it needs to go, we're going to flip the battery back over and I'm going to put it into its normal space. And then I'm going to connect this cable back. Yay. Okay. Good. So we've got that connected. Now, I do have this one screw. Again, you may have another screw right here. This computer happens to be missing it. So if it is, don't worry. One screw will hold it in place. And then you just go ahead and put that screw back in. It's near the fan. Good to go. Okay, now the only other thing we have to do is put the bottom back on. So we're going to go ahead and take the bottom. We're going to line it up and gently push it down. And as you screw it in, it'll, it'll click in place also. And then we're going to go ahead and start screwing all these screws in. Great. 
Okay, just make sure you've got all these little places on the bottom of the case pushed down really well so it's made a good connection and you don't hear any more clicking. And then you can flip it back over. Okay, I just logged back into the Dell computer. And if you'll notice right here, it's actually charging the computer. If I click on that, it's 48% charged and it's got one hour and eight minutes remaining. So that is super helpful. That new battery is going to work great. Thanks so much, everybody. I hope that was helpful on how to install a new battery in a Dell Latitude E5470. So if you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I will be more than happy to get back to you. And as always, if you don't mind, please like and subscribe so I can keep putting up these great videos. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.